We're going to talk about that with Doug Herbert, our international affairs commentator. Doug, um, we were hearing from James Andre at the Elysee just uh, uh, half an hour ago. I mean, is Macron going to actually say anything new today? Is he going to give any more away? Well, you'll, we'll have to really ask the Harkies that, and uh, because they might have a very different take than what the rest of the public does. And there is a, a political component, obviously, to this entire announcement. But I mean, look, the, 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 the Aki issue has not, you know, all of a sudden come to the fore in the, in the past several weeks or months. It has been a perennial issue over decades, and Macron is simply the latest in a string of presidents uh, to going back to really Sarkozy back in uh, 2012. Uh, who recognized, and, and that's the word to use, recognized France's responsibility for neglecting and essentially abandoning uh, the Aquis at the end of the Algerian War of Independence, uh, eight-year war that ended with the Evian Accords in 1962. And, uh, and since then, the Aquis have literally not just been stigmatized, but they have been seeking some sort of redress, if you want, restoring their sense of dignity uh, for being betrayed by France as they see it. The war ended, France basically walked off the battlefield. These Aquis, a group of Algerians who chose to fight on the French side rather than with the Algerians, their own compatriots, uh, in this war of independence. And at the end of the war, basically they're left to their own devices. And often that meant at least the ones left behind, and we're talking anywhere from 55,000 to 70,000, uh, having to suffer bloody rep reprisals at the hands of nationalists. As you said, Macron today will be addressing about 300 representatives of the Aki community and their descendants. And trying to take an additional step, what does that mean? Well, obviously, there's going to be some hard money the Aki's will be looking for. It's been about 40 million euros to date. They say that is a, a laughable, derisory sum. They want more money on the table. But beyond that, they want a real sense that France is willing to step up to the plate and not just acknowledge its responsibility, but to, in more stronger terms, acknowledge that France betrayed its own Republican French values by abandoning the Aquis. It's ironic, but both Sarkozy Hollande said that uh, the Aquis represented really proved that France was not the fruit of hazard. It was They showed that these were people who chose to, to the, the values of France, chose to side with France. What did France give them in return? Nothing. If Emmanuel Macron today can find the word, Stuart, to convince the Aki's that France not only takes responsibility, but also sees the value in the and in, 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 in its own failings, that will be a big, a big step in the right direction. Yeah, you use that word value there, Doug. I mean, is there yeah. a bit of a sense, though, that whatever Emmanuel Macron says won't be enough? For there, there is a sense, because remember, we're talking about the Aki's, right? And you mentioned there's about 200,000 of them, but the descendants, their children, in some cases, even grandchildren, uh, about 500,000 strong, a large constituency in France, and they're obviously not monolithic. The Aki's among themselves have many different takes of what will be acceptable, what will be considered going far enough, uh, and what won't. Uh, so they do not speak in, in, in one unified voice. But the general thing they will be looking for, like I said, is a, is a sense that after all these other French presidents, really going back to Chirac, because it was under Chirac 2003 that we actually had a national day of commemoration of tribute to the Aki's, which will be a few days from now, September 25th, it's observed every year. It was instituted. And since then, many of the Yaquis think it's still lip service. It's still just before, perhaps not coincidentally, every French election, it seems, all the French presidents instantly start talking about the Yaquis. It is a cause célèbre on the right side, among many in the right-wing part of the French political spectrum, and including the far right, the Aki cause. And a lot of French presidents, including Macron right now, are its fertile ground with a presidential campaign coming back up in a few months. Not to sound cynical, but sure, there's a political component too. The Aki's know that, but they'll be looking to see if Macron is sincere beyond simply searching for electoral opportunism to try to get their votes. Doug Herbert, thanks very much, Doug Herbert, and it's Ashley Fair's commentator on France 24.